Welcome to the Five Minute English Vocabulary Podcast. My name is Herbert Lee, and I'll be your host. Now you can easily improve your vocabulary without memorizing long lists of boring words, and still develop a powerful command of English. You'll learn the origin of words or etymology, told as easy to remember stories. You'll also hear some jokes and learn some idioms as well. Episode twelve. Season two. So when someone comes up to you and says, "How are you?" Chances are good you just stumble for an answer and then finally come up with the same old answer. Fine. There are many, many other ways you can reply to this simple question, and by doing so, you'll really improve your vocabulary. You know, you don't have to say the same thing every time. Fine. You can say it in so many different ways, and this will make your English sound more. Varied, and it will make you sound more fluent, and it will boost your confidence in an incredible way just by answering a very simple everyday answer. Let's have a look and see some other ways to say "I feel fine." I'm good. This probably means more than just fine. Maybe better than fine. I'm great, much more than just fine, and also very widely used. And you can say this with great emphasis in your voice to show how good you are feeling. I'm great, and don't say this in a monotone voice. I'm great, with no feeling, or people will think you feel the opposite. Another way to say it is doing really well. Again, a very positive reply. You should only use this if you mean what you say. Maybe you just got back from a two-week holiday or vacation, so you're feeling relaxed and well rested after two weeks of lying on a beach somewhere. So you just reply, "Doing really well." Notice that you can use the verb to do when expressing how you feel. This is very common. You can also say, "I'm doing fine," "I'm doing good," or "I'm doing just great." All these phrases can be used, and you can use them in almost any situation. Couldn't be better. This is another useful expression. It means my life is so good right now; it's impossible to feel better about it. And it's a very polite and yet friendly way to say, "I'm fine." I'm a okay. This is another way to say, "I'm fine." Very informal and casual. You can use this phrase in a humorous way. So if someone says, "How are you?" and you reply, "I'm a okay," then you might get a smile from the other person. But it's just a nice phrase that you can use in English. Peachy. This is another humorous phrase to use instead of "I'm fine." If you reply, "I'm just peachy," then you might make the other person laugh. But use it. It's a good phrase to use instead of "I'm fine." I feel great. If you're feeling great about your life, there are some ways to express this. You want to say more than just "I'm fine." So let's look at some ways to express that. I feel great. I feel marvelous. I feel wonderful. I feel fantastic. All of these phrases are great ways to express that you are having a great day and that life is going very well. And remember to use a big smile when you use one of these phrases. Never better. This phrase means I never felt better than I am feeling right now. It's used to express that you are feeling great. It's a very informal phrase, so it's best used in casual situations or with people you know well. I'm on top of the world. Another phrase that's used to express that you're feeling really well. It means that you feel like you are standing on top of the world, and so you feel very high and good about life. Again, it is best used in an informal setting. I'm on cloud nine. Very similar to the previous phrase, it means that you feel as if you're sitting on a cloud high in the sky. So you feel great. I don't know why we say cloud nine. 
and not cloud 10 or cloud 11, but there it is. And again, this is for an informal environment. Over the moon, another idiom to use when expressing how great you feel. This is from a nursery rhyme, and it has now come to mean that you are feeling very good and your life is going well. Things could not be better. This idiom is similar to the previous phrase of never better, and we use this to show that we feel great and our life is going very well. Again, this is best used in an informal setting. I've saved the best for last. This is from one of my favorite motivational speakers, the late Zig Ziglar, who when people asked him, how do you feel? He said, I'm feeling super good, but I'll get better. So there you have it. Some other ways to say, I feel fine without saying, I feel fine. I hope these phrases and idioms are of some use to you. Practice them and use different ones every day. And the next time someone asks you, how are you? You'll have a new way to say, I'm fine. Best of luck and enjoy your new vocabulary. That wraps up episode 12. Next week, we're going to talk about good and nice. So until then, have a outstanding day. And I hope you're feeling over the moon. Sorbert Lee saying bye for now. 